Hello, this is Sheree for Just Nailed It, and you have stumbled upon my docu-series, Learning Acrylics. This week, we are going to be playing with some leaves, of course. These are some dry leaves that I've acquired through Deal Crazy Mama. She's helped me out a lot. I also had a package of them from AliExpress. Took some of those out as well. I may or may not use this moon sticker and then the white star with the what looks like it is blah, 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 a diamond in the center. I may or may not use these. Um, this video may or may not contain some PR items. Most likely it may, but we're going to burp our brush. I have done three nails somewhat already. So we are going to dive in with our index nail. I'm sure you can see these sitting off to the side. I think these are really pretty. I still have to file and buff. A lot of work to be done there. We are going to go in with a bead of clear. And then we're going to watch. What? I can't talk today. In troubles. Watch it walk down the nail. And then we're going to add some leaves. I do have some She Modern pumpkins out to add, and those will be added after the buffing and finally right before top coat. Just so you know. Just so you know where I'm going with this. We have like a little pumpkin patch going on, I think. So that's my plan. Hope you're all doing great today. Please subscribe to my channel. Click all on the bell and and what? You get notified of all future videos. The orange I'm using is a boo from the nail junkie. I am also using her coconut milk, which is white. I'm going for a little bit of an ombre look here. And then on top of that, I add the leaves. It's going to be really, really cute. Really, really cute. So I'm going to go in with another bead of orange. Let gravity take over somewhat. Let it, oh, I'm out of frame. I'm terribly sorry. Let it walk itself down the nail. Clean my brush a little bit here. Make sure our nail is covered. Shoot, shoot, shoot. So I'm going to let that do that. I'm going to go in with some white for the top portion of the nail. This is not going to be enough. I keep picking up these little beads. And they're not going to get me too far. I think I need to start using a bigger brush. I can't remember what size this is. Um, I'm not sure if this is a Beatles Model 1 because they kind of look identical. And I have a... I don't know if it's a 12 or a 14. Or a 10 or 12. That I have not used and I really, really want to. It's just... scared of messing it up. When I first started doing acrylics on my Lord, I could clog a brush like it was nobody's business. Now, I'm doing a lot better. I'm not clogging my brush. Let's see what we are going to go do today. Let me see where am I. Where is I at? I know I'm out of frame. Sorry about that. 
Sorry about that. What do you think? I don't know what's with the lighting. I'm going to put a be clear on that one. Whoopsie. Give me just one second. Let that level itself out for just a second. And let's see what else can we take. A little bit of orange. What do we think? I can't match up colors to save my life. I really like the way it looks. So I'm going to go in with some clear to seal it in to encapsulate. Let walk itself down the nail. I like for it to do it without me having to help it. Makes me feel like it's going to get better coverage, but it ain't going really that far. So wait till this bead crystallizes. I feel like I'm so not in frame. Another little bead. And one more. Acrylic all over my index finger, it never fails. I always end up with acrylic all through here. I know that's what gloves are for. So, I think I'll put this down over here. Here's our four so far. See if I can get them in some good light. I want to go in with the ring finger now. Where are we at? Let the nail down a little bit. Put us a little bit of clear on. I've already got an overlay of clear on the nail. I'm just putting another to freshen it up, so to speak, because I think I did these the first layer, the overlay, what, like a week ago? Like a week ago, I did, I think. So I just wanted to let them have a fresh coat of clear. Something to dampen it up, I guess you could say. I don't see why girls do that like I just did, wipe it down the nail, because all it does is take the color away. And this is not orangey enough. Not enough. Not enough. Not enough, not enough. Let's 
see how this he does this now. Don't let that just walk itself, spread out a little bit. I do love doing my acrylics. I really do. I just need to uh, practice more. I'm just running out of stuff. So I can't practice as much as I would like to. Pretty blue, really pretty blue. Let's see what else. There's some orange flowers laying down there. Whoops. Whoopsie. Had a, had a little, little, little bit of green. Green is not cooperating. Not exactly cooperating. Either is the blue. There we go. Tap it down. Tap it down. I'm going to get, oh, I forgot the white, oh. I don't want this to be a milk bath, I was just going for the ombre, but. I forgot to put the white on the top for the ombre, so let's just see how this goes. Alright, alright, we gotta leave it at the top. It moved itself, so to speak, kinda like. Okay, I'm gonna go in with some clear here. To encapsulate. Tap, tap. Gonna re wet the brush here a little bit. Keep your sides pushed in. Try to keep your brush clean in between. Gonna go in with some more clear to finish off the nail. Let it walk itself down the nail. There we go. There we go. Definitely gotta clean my brush out. But we are done. I've got to wait for them to cure themselves. So I can buff and file. And I always do that off camera pretty much because of the length of time it takes. And I do the hand filing. So. Oh boy. I'm going to try to put another bead of clear on that flower right there. It's pretty rough. It is pretty rough. Pretty lumpy and bumpy, so that means there's a lot of filing to be done. 
Hope you are sticking with me because we are nowhere near the end of the video. So if you need to take a break, I am going to be pausing this and... I don't know, letting yourself take a break, so to speak. As I'm going to. So when these are all done and finished, where the um, overlay, the encapsulation has hardened, cured, and I have buffed and filed, I will be back. All right, we are back now. We are um, done with the buffing and the filing. So we are going to put us some little jobby dues on and some, what do I want to call them? Water decals for she modern. But I do need my she modern product. What is this for? What is this for? Thought I was totally prepared. And I'm not. So in order to use the she modern, I need to use some of the grip gel, which is now called slip gel, I guess. Trying to figure out which nail I'm going to put some pumpkins on. Definitely going to put them on the ring finger. So I'm going to spread this about down here. Maybe the thumbnail. Put this down here also. And the ring finger, I think. Or not the ring finger, the middle finger. So I'm going to put those in, put these in the lamp for 30 seconds, put this back where it belongs, and I am going to attempt to use, definitely want to use the moon, definitely want to use that, um, kind of want to use the star, the black star is here, I don't know, we'll see as we go. I've got my Ice Cube Stamper from Maniology. I do have a 10% off code there. JNI capitalized 10. JNI 10. I'll put that across the bottom of the screen. That's what we're going to put the water details on with. So I'm going to get one here. Slide the backing off. Dab it off on something lint free. Get your silicone tool out. Make sure there are no air or water bubbles. Not exactly as I wanted it though. Dab, dab, dab. And here is a hollow pumpkin. Whoopsie. It definitely wants to take off on me. There, you look at it sideways. Make sure they are laying down flat. Also, let's see. I have got hollow pumpkins. Oh, snap. Don't want the backing, we want the pumpkin. Get our silicone tool, smooth him out. Get us an orange pumpkin now, dab that one off. There we go. And our middle finger. Dab, dab, dab with this. Oh, slide the backing off. Dab that one off. Okay. And our last orange pumpkin. Get your silicone tool. Whoops. See, I like using, I mean, this one, you can move them around, get to where you want them. But I like, which 
one we really use the grip chat. Oh, I, I like the other one. That's right, that was stuck on my finger. Here we go. That way they don't move around on you, they are stationary. Oh boy. The slip does not have enough grip. So I'm going to pop these back in the oven again. And we will be right back. All right, we are back. We are going to now attempt to get the moon off this paper. Should be a sticker. Here we go, here we go. There. See, that was easy. That was easy. Oh, I ripped it at. Ah! Oh, I ripped the other one. Oh no! Well, let me see if I can get them off my finger. So we will try for the white star now. Well, the one right here. One right there. Hopefully. Oh, here we go, here we go. Looks like the phone's not gonna stop. Here we go. Anything else I want to use? Not today, not today. Not today. So now we are going to top coat. I still have my Igel Beauty out and my Beatles. But because the Igel Beauty is thicker, I'm going to use that to seal in the decals. over your whole entire nail. Watch the colors of the flowers come alive. I think these are really super pretty. I hope I am in frame. Let me come up here just a little bit more. everything is covered I am using a 108 watt lamp so you don't need to do a full 30 I mean a full 60 you can use the 30 second setting I think this turned out rather cute. I really do. I was going to put some bling on it, but I think I'm going to skip that for today. So I'm going to pop this in. Whoops. Give that a full cure, and I will be right back. All right, we are back. Fresh out of the lamp. Our manicure is finished. Let's see if we can see where we're at. There we go. Our manicure is finished. This is the end of our docu-series learning acrylics for this week, October 2020. Let me 
leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell. Click all. Give me a thumbs up and share. Uh, let's see. Did I say hello to Erica this time? Hello, honey. Hello. Hello. I have to talk to my girl. So, we are finished. This is the end. Like I say, leave me a comment down below with your thoughts. Let me know what you think of this manicure. I think it turned out pretty sweet. We'll get more Halloweenish next week, I promise. Have yourselves a blessed day, and thank you.